creating a new form and editing an existing form are key elements you need to be able to do to have a successful web portal. In this scenario, we have Alex who is logged in and is accessing their personal profile through the personal profile page. But we're going to create a new personal profile form from scratch and replace the existing one. So we enter the form designer, where first we define the layout of the form. This is where we have incredible control to manage the different areas of the form where we can drag and drop widgets. Each of these elements can be embedded in, in the other and are all responsive by nature. So the first step is to define what kind of entity this form is going to work with. So we define that this form is going to work with the contact entity. And we want it to automatically populate it with the logged on user's contact ID. Therefore the form automatically populates the field with whoever is logged on to the web portal. And now we're going to build our form. We know we want to add four text fields across the top, which are going to contain some text fields from the contact entity. Then in the second row, we're going to first add a lookup field, and then we're going to add a couple pick list fields. And then finally, we want to add a rating field. Each of these will be linked to a specific field in the underlying entity. Now we start to map those fields. The first text field is going to map to the first name, so we select which attribute, and now we're going to loop through the other fields. We want last name, then we want to have email address, and then business phone. Any field that you create in the contact record can be accessed from this end. Now we're going to look at the lookup entity, so we're going to look up and allow people to define what currency they want. And then we also want people to specify their gender. But you know what? Rather than a drop-down list, we want to make it a radio button. We also want them to be able to define their marital status, and we'll leave that as a drop-down. And then maybe the number of children they might have in their family. And instead of max of five, we'll make it a max of six, and they have to select individual items to define whole numbers. Now we click Publish, and now our new form has been created. But we want to replace the existing form on our web page, so we go into the page that contains the old form and we simply replace it with the new one. Again we click publish and now our form is live on the website. Simply go back, hit refresh, and now Alex can see the new form populated with her information and she has the ability to go and update her information using the new form we just created. To experience a full demo of the Portal Connector, visit our website at crmportalconnector.com slash demo.